This week in history, May 11, 1981, marks 41 years since Bob Marley died in Miami, Florida. The cause? Metastatic skin cancer. He was only 36. Singer Bob Marley, his reggae music known far beyond its roots in Jamaica, died in a Miami hospital today after a long battle against cancer. Marley was such a national icon that he received a state funeral days later. Robert Nesta Marley's career took shape in the 1960s when he helped form the Teenagers, later the Whalers, in 1963. The original group consisted of Peter Tosh, Bunny Whaler, and Junior Brathwaite. The Whalers moved from Jamaica to London, England, and largely made ska music, which along with Rocksteady was popular in Jamaica at the time. The Whalers changed sound with the times as new reggae music grew in popularity. They released Soul Rebel in 1970, to moderate fanfare. But, according to Far Out Magazine, it was their 1974 hit, I Shot the Sheriff, that popularized Marley and the group. Though the original Wailers left later that year, Marley and a new lineup continued to release hit songs on albums like Exodus from 1977 up until his death. Aside from music, Marley was known for his faith, which was heavily infused into his music. He was born Catholic but converted to Rastafarianism in the 1960s, as symbolized by his growth of dreadlocks. He has since become an iconic worshiper of the faith. But it was that faith that reportedly led him to reject amputating his melanoma-infected toe, which could have saved his life. Cancer wasn't the only time Marley faced death. The reggae icon nearly died in a December 1976 home invasion two days before his concert to quell Jamaican political violence. Though Marley maintained political neutrality in public, many believe he backed Democratic Socialist Michael Manley in the race for Prime Minister. This also fueled rumors that the CIA was behind the assassination attempt to prevent socialism on the island. Though Marley did not invent reggae music, he helped popularize the genre and its home country Jamaica to a worldwide audience. You'd hardly know Marley died over four decades ago, given how relevant his music remains today. Zion the Lion for Channel Zoo.